Uh, hey guys, um, welcome to Friday. Um, and things are not likely to change a whole bunch in the next little while. We're hearing back from lots of students and parents and some are coming back for their morning next week, some are not, and that's totally fine. We're gonna continue the online learning all the way through June. So today, this is what I wanna do. I kinda wanted to do this yesterday, but we switched the order around. So the next few days might just be a little bit of back and forth. Today, uh, if you have not written the probability quiz, make sure you write that quiz. That was from Wednesday. I want everybody to give it a try. You can always rewrite it, um, but it'd be better to rewrite it after you work through this with me today. So give it a try. If you haven't done it yet, stop right here, stop the video going uh, back to Wednesday and do Wednesday's work. Um, then if you have done the quiz, watch today's video, that's what you're doing, good. Uh, read over the answer key, that's this over here, and we'll get to that in a minute. And then rewrite the quiz if you choose. So if you got five out of 15 and you're like, oh, I really wanna do it again, then do it again, right? If you got 10 and you're like, oh, I still wanna try it again, then do it again. Um, just like in class, we can always rewrite things. And then if you get finished all of that, you can always work on uh, yesterday's work, but that's what we're gonna, start on next week the central tendency that sounds scary but all it is is just statistics looking at numbers so what i wanted to do today this is the wednesday quiz so if you haven't done it click on there if you have done it click on here and this is a pdf form of the quiz um so i'm just going to walk you through it really quickly this is the answer key so again if you haven't tried it go try it first and then come back and do this if you flip two coins what's the probability of both coins landing on tails so here are the four outcomes Heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, tails, tails. That's the only four outcomes there can be. There's only one way to get tails, tails. So one out of four, 25%, okay? Number two, what's the probability of randomly selecting a red marble from a bag with three red, five blue, and six marbles? Well, that means you have 14 marbles total. So the denominator has to be 14 and three red. So three out of 14 are red or 21.4%. If I roll a regular die, what's the chance of getting a five? Well, there's only six outcomes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the denominator and only one five. So one of the six, that's it. A spinner divided into nine equal sections, numbered one to nine. What's the probability of a five or less? So you could get a five, four, three, two, one. So there's five chances. You get a one or a two or a three or a four or a five. Five chances out of nine. So 55.5 repeating percent or 56%, however you wanted to round that. Number five, roll a pair of dice. So what's the probability that dice will land with the three face up? Now I could list this all out in one of those trees. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if I get a one in the first dice, I can get a one, two, three, four, five, six in the second. If I get a two in the first dice, I can get a one, two, three, four, five, six in the second. If I get a three, but it would be a big job. So the shortcut works like this. Six, out, six outcomes on the first dice, six outcomes on the second dice. Six times six is 36, so there's 36 outcomes. There's only one way to get a three and a three. Okay, so one of the 36, that's it. Uh, this one here, two different spinners, but it doesn't really matter because they're already divided up into equal parts. They don't have to both be the same equal parts. There are five outcomes here, four outcomes here. The shortcut works super well. Otherwise you have to list 20 different outcomes, um, but we just multiply 20 outcomes and there's only one way to get a one and a one. So one out of 20, okay, seven. Kids had questions about this. Students had questions about this yeah, yesterday, the day before. Um, and Taylor creates four digit password for his bank accounts. Digits are zero to nine. So there's 10 digits, right? Instead of one to 10, it's zero to nine. So what's the probability of that someone will, will hack this? We'll get into it. Well, there's 10 outcomes in the first number, 10 on the second, 10 on the third, 10 on the fourth. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 10,000. So there's 10,000 different combinations, right? Um, only one is the right one. So one out of 10,000 or zero decimal zero one percent. So I think his password's pretty protected. Not likely to guess that. And that's only a four digit one. Okay, number eight, super easy. What's the probability of green? One out of four, 25%. What's the probability of red? There's only one red, eight slices of pie. One out of eight, 12.5%. Number 10, probability of red or blue. So either one, not red and blue, but red or blue. So three blue and five red. So there's eight different chances of getting what you want out of a possible 12. So it'd be 66.6 .6 repeating or 66.7 or 67%, depending on how you round it. There's lots of good ways to round those numbers. Okay, uh, number 11, we're working through here. Uh, this was a bit of a challenge, but I've also put it on uh, several other Google Forms. So this shouldn't have been the first time. This should be the fourth time or third time anyway that you've seen it. So you have to divide this all up into equal parts. I wish I'd done the colored one. <laughs> this is all just gray. 
but these three all were blue. So if I divide it up into eight equal parts, three are blue, and therefore I have three chances out of eight. That's it. Okay, number 12, um, not colored, but you can see where the colors are. This is not divided up evenly. It is now, but it wasn't. Half was green, and then a quarter was red, and a quarter was blue. So I have to divide this into quarters. So I have green and green. So I have four outcomes on this one. Two are green, but I have four different outcomes. And then I have three here, so I have 12 possible outcomes. And there are two ways of getting green and green. I could have this green here and this green. Or I could have this green here and this green. So two chances out of 12 instead of one. So 16.7. Number 13. I'm going to use the same diagram here for 13 and 14. So three coins are tossed. And I used a tree diagram. So on the first coin, I could get heads or tails. And if I get heads, I could get heads and tails again. Right? If I get tails, I get heads and tails again. So if I get this, heads and heads, I could also get heads and tails on the third one. Or heads and tails, I can get heads and tails on the third one. So you end up with these eight possible outcomes. And the question says, what is the probability of all coins landing on tails? So I just need tails, tails, tails. There's one chance of doing that out of eight, so 12.5. Now this one says three coins. What's the probability of only two? Not three, only two, right? So I heads, head, heads. No, that's not it. Heads, heads, tails. No, that's not it. Heads, tails, heads. No, that's not it. Heads, tails, tails. Oh, that's one. Heads, tails, tails is one, okay? Then tails, heads, heads. Nope. Tails, heads, tails. Oh, that's two. Two tails. And then tails, tails, heads. That's three. Tails, tails, tails. That doesn't work because there's three of them. I don't want two of them. So three chances out of eight or 37.5%. Last question was the hardest question for sure. And I just did another big tree. Same thing. Four coins. First coin, second coin, third coin, fourth, fourth coin. Okay. And I'm looking for uh, at least three tails. Okay, so I just went through and I listed this and it was like heads, 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 heads. Nope, that isn't heads, 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 tails. Nope. And obviously these aren't going to work because I'm looking for three tails. So the first one that works is this one right here. Heads, tails, tails, tails. That's one. And if you go through all of them, there's five that have three or four tails out of 16. That's it. So um, if you want to go back now and try the quiz again, don't sit here and just copy my answers. Try it again. See if you can do it correctly. Um, but that's, that's it. Um, and then next week, I want everybody to be done this. We want to be finished with probability. Uh, if you need help, I will still continue to help you with this or, or even geometry or something earlier. Um, I'm willing to help you with all of that stuff. But I'd like to get this done, and then we'll do the statistic, the central tendency stuff. And I think then we'll take a step back and review things that we've done already this year just to get you prepared for grade nine. Have a really good rest of your day. We'll talk to you guys soon.